What's going on guys, Hass here, CollectiveKicks.com, and if you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description. If you guys want to buy the Derupt Pride or the Nikki Pride, check the link also in the description. But these are pretty crazy. So I saw these in images and I didn't even look twice because it looked like it was an all white upper and it just, it didn't really like draw my attention to the shoe, but there's so much detail to the shoe that from a far distance, you can't really see what the shoe even looks like. But then when you get it up close, you can see underneath the mesh, there is a interesting looking stripe around the midsole of the shoe, which I really liked. And then the upper material too has a crazy little color pattern uh, as well. And I thought that that looked really cool. And then to top it off, it's kind of more like off-white egg sort of color um, as you could see, and then it has the Adidas with the rainbow uh, trefoil logo on the tongue. I know this is a pride shoe, but at the end of the day, like you couldn't even tell this is really for pride. And I like the, the premium material choices as well. You have that premium uh, suede on the back with the Adidas logo. And then you also have that premium leather on the Adidas logo on the tongue, which is really nice. It also says on this side, and you, you can see this crazy nice leather here again. It says Unites. And the other one says love. So that's kind of cool actually. It says love unites, isn't that sweet? So that is pretty cool. And then you see the rainbow Adidas logo on the inside of the shoe. And this is basically like a Derupt. It has a couple premium features. Price point is $100. And um, you know, I did a review on these and they weren't the most comfortable shoes out. Like because it doesn't have a boost on it, I was like, eh, I'm not that interested in the shoe. But sometimes it's nice to be able to mix it up. Uh, and I tried them on and I was like, you know what? They actually feel pretty good on feet. The other thing is the original ones that I got were a nine and a half. And actually for me, nine fits me better than a nine and a half. It fits me uh, just snug enough where I feel like there's a little bit more structure to the shoe. And because of that, I can uh, forgive the fact that there's not enough um, cushioning. You also do get an ortholite liner, which is a nice little plus, but it doesn't add a lot of cushioning like Boost would obviously in the shoe. But again, what really sold me on buying this shoe is just because of the potential for this upper. Look at this thing. So I can leave it like this or I can take the cage off and I think that I would rather take the cage off of this because I think I want this crazy pattern underneath the shoe to be what shines through. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the top of this. All right, so I went downstairs and actually removed the netting and if you guys like that I did this for this video, smack the, uh, the thumbs up button. But let's take a look at the shoes, dudes. Uh, tell me that these don't look a thousand times better than they did with the mesh on. I actually freaking think these things look amazing. And it wasn't that difficult to do. You could see that I did both of them. And I cannot believe how rad this upper looks. I just, I think that this was like a missed opportunity when this was all covered up. And now that it's been all exposed and stuff, I think it looks dope. Now I left just a little teeny bit of the mesh right here just for like fun. I don't know, I thought it looked kind of cool on the back of the shoe. But um, the other thing that I thought was really cool is this. It's something that you don't see really with the mesh on and it says, we are proud and unapologetic and we encourage you to be the same, love unites. And uh, I thought that was cool. I thought that was a nice little nod to the pride. I like that they kind of have that as a little hidden message underneath the shoe. So this was fun to be able to do. I know it's kind of anti, productive for Adidas because they obviously spend the money and the time to have a, a net put onto the shoe, but I like it removed. I think it looks way doper. And this is a pair that I definitely will see myself rocking just because of the overall look of the shoe. I just think it looks really, really clean, like an Easter shoe. Like this is like super pastel, heavy in the yellow and uh, all sorts of different colors when you look up close. So that is what these look like without the, uh, the net. You can see the bottom down here is actually kind of netted as well along with the entire midsole. And I couldn't really take this off. I mean, I, maybe I could have, I just didn't even wanna try it. I actually really like the way it looks on the midsole, so I actually wanted to leave it on, even if I could take it off. But uh, I went through and did the lacing. And then for those wondering about my lacing system, I did the double laces on the top just for fun. Uh, so all I did was basically use the top hole twice and just kind of makes it so the laces are a little bit shorter because these laces were pretty darn big on the shoe. I didn't think I liked them that much at first, and then this colorway came out and again, I was just super sold on it. So and if you guys are interested in buying this pair of sneakers, check the link in the description. They are available on adidas.com and uh, really easily accessible. And I think that this is a, just a cool little modification that you can do to make your shoe look a little bit different. If you take your time along the shoe, it, it looks almost factory. Like right here, you could see the stitching right next to the tongue. 
I mean, it looks exactly like that. And uh, behind the tongue, I try to dig out as much behind the tongue as I could. The only thing is like right here, you can see it gets a little sloppier up at the very, very top. You can see a little bit of the mesh left there, but that doesn't really matter because it's not visible. And then you could see I try to clean up the sides of the shoe as well, like along here. And then all along here even, um, I try to do a, the best job I did. So I did a better job on this one than on my first pair, but obviously I didn't know what I was doing on my first pair. Uh, so this time I feel like I did a better job on these. And I did, uh, I think, better on both of them actually, not just one of them. So I got both of them done, so now I can rock both of them and have the same uh, uniform look. guys think about the Dureps. It's a pretty awesome shoe for only $100. I like the aesthetics of the shoe. I think they look really cool. I don't love the fact that it doesn't have boost or anything like that and or bounce or anything, but the midsole is fairly soft. I mean, it's it's decent. It's not bad. Um, you just can't really feel like the cushioning like you would from boost. And when I have a midsole like this, I automatically just want boost. But with boost, you wouldn't be able to do this kind of cool design on it. So you kind of, it's a give and take in a sense uh, with some of that. But the upper is really simple. And um, I don't know, I think it's a simple, just nice, clean summer shoe for a hundred bucks. And I can see myself rocking these quite a bit now. So sometimes it just takes the right colorway to change your mind on. And in this case, I think that it worked on me and I saw these, I did a double take. I walked through the entire Adidas employee store and then I was like, dude, I gotta get those shoes. And I went back and snagged them. And the craziest thing is I went back the next day and they're completely sold out. So I'm really glad that I was actually able to snag these. In fact, I really wanna buy the Aniki um, pride ones as well because I like the overall themes on those ones also but uh, as for right now I passed but I just wanted to give you guys a look at the mesh removal of this colorway because I think it looks so sick and uh, yeah super happy with the results if you guys actually end up doing this yourselves to this model and you actually like it tag me on Instagram or Twitter I always love to see but anyway that's all we have for the video thank you guys for watching we'll catch you guys for some more sneaker videos very soon subscribe if you guys are new to the channel notification bell when you want to be notified of when I post videos and again thumbs up the video if you guys like the fact that I risked I risked it, man. I risked another $100 pair of sneakers to make it look uh, like this, and uh, I like it. At this time, if you guys want to click the screen, check out any of the other videos on my channel, feel free to do so, and we will catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.